Hi, this is Christoph Aschon from Noble Master Games. I'm going to give a short overview of a new Tech 3 functionality that I added in the last release to show you how it works. So let's go right into it. I'm going to start a single player match. Go to single player, I downloaded the maps already. Create a new game. And here, I mean, the missions here listed are all the campaigns. So we want that scenario, scrimmage scenario. Let me see. Let me take battle map 02. Uh, should I? Maybe random islands 2 versus the AI. And then here, you need one of the updated maps, the maps that haven't been updated, they don't have a research functionality. So if you have a map, play a generated map, make sure they update the map and it's going to appear. And here in advanced option, we can tweak it a little bit. Um, basically, if you don't do anything, you get the research tree, you get your basic tech that you select from the factions, but you can also have the option to reset the tech tree. If I select that here, so all the factions in the game, they start just with the basic technology. So you have to research everything, which is might be a little bit fun. It's probably going to prolong a game. And uh, let's see what else added is. Maybe that's less important. You could actually set the map control. You can also control allied troops at where they move to in case they're in the way. Maybe let me do that too. I think that's also in the last release. Or you can even control enemy troops if you set it to everything. That might be fun. Maybe it shouldn't be a rated scenario if you play online. Let's just allow myself to control the enemy at uh, the ally AI. Alright, let's create the game. And now during setup, you choose the faction. And there's two AI factions and two other factions. I can change the color if I like. Uh, let me maybe leave it at blue. And here, if you reset the tech tree, you can choose your basic faction technology. So you have to start from scratch. So you only select where you start. I can start either blue or green. We start blue. Uh, let's get started. If you see who's playing against who. First, we take that loot crate that gives us a little bit matter. And then we start building up um, some basic um, infrastructure to farm um, um, income for later. Let me see. Let me place that here. And yes, that's also in one of the previous releases. When you place objects, the troops move out of the way but not the enemy or the allied troops. So now I have it set that can, uh, can't control the allied troops. So I can tell the allied command to move somewhere else. I mean, the AI is, there's an AI player. The AI is going to reset the movement, obviously. It doesn't like what I do. Or maybe I can tell the robot to go somewhere else. I tell the robot to take the loot crate. And then the AI takes over again. But it might be more fun if you play with a human player and you can take over the human troops or even control the enemy AI. But we can only control troops that are obviously visible. So I can't control enemy troops. Control enemy troops when they're not visible. Uh, let's con continue building. All right, let's build. Uh, we need some harvesters. I think usually four is probably enough for most scenarios unless the unless the my, the crystals are far away we need some power too and maybe a couple accumulators also so here with the basic tech tree basically nothing is researched you see the list what it can do Let's see, we also don't have a geothermal plant that it's usually in there by default. Do we? Uh, no, I mean that that here shows all the research objectives we have. We can research vehicle tech that allows us to build wall breakers. This category is like particle sciences for EMP and stuff, satellite technology. At the nature, nature sciences, we can also build later medic, medic, medical soldiers, the nurse, hover tech. 
Uh, that's all available. Nothing is researched. So you only get the basic troops. If you look here, some basic tanks, some harvesters, the jeep. And so you probably wonder, hey, how do I get the research points? How can I research? So right now we have the zero research points that can be configured. But in order to gain research points, we need to create a research center. So we also go to infrastructure. And here we have the research center that costs 200. And we place it here. As soon as it's built, here you see it's going to produce uh, one research point every four seconds. That, that might be slow and you can only build one. But I mean, if you do it too fast, I mean, the balance of the game is off. So at the moment, maybe later it can change. At the moment, you can only build one on the whole map. So I can only build one research center and slowly uh, get points to then later research um, uh, the different technologies. Uh, one thing with the research point at center is it leads a lot of energy. If we go here, you produce 40 and use 40 energy per, uh, per second. That's per second. And we have stored 2.9 uh, kilo energy in our accumulators. I mean, that's enough during the day, but during nighttime, that is not sufficient. So let's build a few um what do you call them wind 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 turbines and maybe let's build a few more accumulators to store the energy and now here we can go here we see the research points are building up every four seconds we get a new one and here the ones that are marked and have a rotating uh, lines around it that can be researched so that can be unlocked right away um, the question is more like what do we want to do do you want to wait we can have uranium processing so to later build nukes but we don't even have uranium maybe we can wait with that or you can research ballistic missiles what would be nice to have maybe you can wait we can wait and then we wait until we have 40 and we are able to build a geothermal plant. Well, let's build a um, few more ground structure. Maybe let's build one or two more build robots. Let's go here. I think on this map, the geothermal vent is here. And when you look here, in infrastructure, no, 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 not in infrastructure, power grid, you will be able to build a geothermal plant, but that's impossible now because we simply don't have enough research points. So when you go here, 31, maybe let's speed it up a little bit. And I think if you look, go back here, we have another option to unlock the geothermal plant, which is pretty useful because it produces constant energy. All right, let's do that. Unlock and then see the list here is updated right away. And now we have the geothermal plant available. Okay, I mean, that's a basic functionality. What's also fun is we have a tax snatcher. Where is it? I think that's here. We need matter processing to build matter fabricators, then we need assimilators, and then we have the tech extraction. We can build tech snatchers, we can steal enemy tech. Um, that's a lot of points we need. So let's go cheat a little bit. Oops, that's not here. So that's us. I think when I click here, it should give me a lot of research points. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, I have a lot. Uh, we have already unlocked all the research too. Uh, that's a cheat code. Anyhow, what I can do is now is I can build a tech snatcher. That's this guy. Takes a second to build. And the tech snatcher, when we target the enemy structure or enemy troops, it can steal the technology of the enemy unit. It has to destroy the enemy unit 
and then it has the technology that comes up here that we have taken. Um, yes, I guess I did the cheat code, so that's not doesn't really matter at this point. I have everything. Uh, that doesn't obviously work in multiplayer. It only works in single player matches. Uh, maybe don't use it, but you can if you if you want to play that way. Uh, anyhow, I think that's the basics to the tech tree that I added last couple, a couple days ago. And uh, thanks for watching.